How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, an animated visual book summary by Alexander Sandalis. How to Win People to Your Way of Thinking, Chapter 7, How to Get Cooperation. Don't you have much more faith in ideas that you discover for yourself than in ideas that are handed to you on a silver platter? If so, isn't it bad judgment to try to ram your opinions down the throats of other people? Isn't it wiser to make suggestions and let the other person think out the conclusion? Yes, it is. But then why do so many of us do the opposite? Understand, no one likes to feel that he or she is being sold something or told to do a thing. We much prefer to feel that we are buying off our own accord or acting on our own ideas. We like to be consulted about our wishes, our wants and our thoughts. We like to have the control and the autonomy. It makes us psychologically at ease. If any of you are creatives in any way or sell anything or create some type of art, this story should resonate deeply with you. An artist by the name of Eugene Wesson sold sketches for a studio that created designs for stylus and textile manufacturers. Mr. Wesson had called on one of the leading stylists in New York once a week, every week, for three years. This man never refused to see Mr. Wesson, but he never bought for three years. He always looked over my sketches very carefully then said, No Wesson, I guess we don't get together today. After 150 failures. Wesson realized he must be in a mental rut, so he resolved to devote one evening a week to the study of influencing human behavior. He decided a new approach. With half a dozen unfinished artist sketches under his arm, he said, here are some uncompleted sketches. Please tell me how we could finish them up so in such a way that you could use them. The buyer looked at the sketches for a while, didn't utter a word, and then said, leave this with me for a few days. Wesson returned three days later, got his suggestions, took the sketches back to the studio, had them finished according to the buyer's ideas. The result? All three were accepted. After that, the buyer ordered scores of other sketches from Wesson, all drawn according to the buyer's ideas. He realized why he had failed for so many years. Mr. Wesson said, I had urged him to buy what I thought he ought to have. Then I changed my approach completely. I urged him to give me his ideas. This made him feel that he was creating designs, that he was in control, and he was. I didn't have to sell to him, he bought. What's the lesson here? You can't sell the market something they don't want. The market is just the current state of our world, right? Of our society. And through its ebbs and flows, you have to understand the psychology of where we're at right now. You can't sell it something it doesn't want. You need to reverse engineer what the people want, what society wants. Within a you're, trying to sell, you're trying to create a business, you're trying to solve a problem, which is essentially what businesses are. We're trying to solve problems. If you're trying to do this, you need to reverse engineer what the other person wants, what society wants. You can't just... I mean, you can throw shit at a wall and see if it sticks, or you can play it more intelligently and work backwards and figure out exactly what the people want, what's important, what will solve the problem in the smartest way that maybe someone else hasn't done before. Principle 7. Let the other person feel that the idea is his or hers. I just want to thank you for getting all the way to the end of a video that you're trying to learn from. Not many people do that nowadays. I hope you're learning something from the content I'm creating. And if you're not, I need you to please click on subscribe. You know, I don't want people who don't think they're returning value from me. So hit on subscribe if you don't think uh, you can, you're continuing to learn from here. And if you are, that's great, man. I appreciate you.